This video shows you how to clean the trauma fill tank and prepare it for storage. Here's what you'll need in addition to the trauma fill tank. Distilled water. Some towels. An overflow bucket or a sink. And the fill and vent line adapter if you are cleaning the Mediman trauma tank. Note that the adapter is for use with the Mediman trauma tank only. You do not need an adapter for the i stand or Caesar trauma tanks. Remove the overflow bottle from the tank by unclipping the carabiner clip. Then disconnect the overflow line from the top of the bottle by pressing the metal release tab and pulling. Remove the lid. And rinse the overflow bottle well by pouring clean distilled water into the bottle and swirling it around. Be sure to empty the bottle when you're done. Now rinse the trauma tank to remove all traces of simulated blood. First, remove the pump assembly by unscrewing the black handle, and then rinse the assembly in clean distilled water. Empty the tank of any remaining simulated blood. Fill the overflow bottle with clean distilled water, then empty the bottle into the trauma tank. Rinse the tank and then empty it into a sink or other receptacle. Fill the overflow bottle once more with distilled water and then pour the water into the trauma tank. Reinstall the pump assembly. Attach the clear overflow line to the overflow bottle lid and put it into the wastewater bucket. If you are cleaning the iStand trauma tank, attach the fill and vent fittings together at the end of the lines. If you are cleaning the Mediman trauma tank, use the adapter to connect the fill and vent fittings together. If you don't have a fill and vent line adapter, you can still follow the steps in this video to clean your Mediman trauma tank but you'll need to consult the Mediman user guide to learn how to flush and fill the vent lines. Make sure the yellow pressure relief valve is closed, then pump the tank handle approximately 25 to 35 times while making sure the wastewater is going into the wastewater bucket or sink. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're pressurizing the tank on a table. However, it's much easier to pressurize the tank if you put it on the floor. Allow the tank to empty completely. Remaining air pressure will purge fluid from the lines. When you have finished flushing the lines, put the overflow lid back onto the overflow bottle. And then clip the bottle back onto the tank assembly. Open the yellow pressure relief valve by turning it clockwise until you hear it click. You can wrap the fill and vent lines around the neck of the trauma tank to keep them out of the way. Remove the pump assembly from the trauma tank and pour out any remaining fluid. Allow the tank to air dry.
When the trauma tank is dry, reinstall the pump assembly. Disconnect the fill and vent fittings from each other. If you're using the Mediman trauma tank, remove the fill and vent lines from the adapter. Finally, wrap the trauma tank fill and vent lines around the neck of the tank. The trauma tank is now ready to be stored. This video showed you how to clean the trauma fill tank and prepare it for storage. If you need more information, please consult the user guide for your simulator or call CAE Healthcare Customer Service at 1-866-462-7920 or at one of our international numbers if appropriate. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more, visit our website at www.caehealthcare.com.